Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we're redoing the tailgate table on the Jeep JK and we're building something completely custom. Now you guys probably think, didn't you already have a really nice table on the back of the JK? Yes we did, we have since removed that because we're building this new custom table. Now by custom table, I mean it's going to be a one-off table. I don't think I've ever seen a drop-down table on a Jeep or any other vehicle like this one before. That's why I want to give you guys kind of give something back to you guys for subscribing and watching my videos the opportunity to win this table now i've seen a few comments oh how can i make one of these tables and where can i buy one from and they they are quite expensive to buy off even e ebay and amazon uh for brand ones so i want to give you guys the opportunity to win uh one of these custom tables that i'll be making now i'm not a perfect carpenter by any means um but a lot, a lot of people have been asking well where can i get one where can i get scrap material from to build my own. So I'll be building one for you guys, a complete replica of the one we'll be building today. So to be able to win this table, just watch the end of the video. Uh, there'll be something you guys need to comment below, uh, a little code if you will, um, and I'll be doing the table, the brackets, uh, the tape, everything you'll need to be able to install it on your Jeep yourself. Really easy, really straightforward. We've done those videos in the past on the TJ and JK. You don't need any special Jeep to be able to do this, just have to hit the subscribe button, watch to the end of the video and comment uh, that little card I've got for you at the end of the video. So let's get on to building this new table. Alright, so building the new table, if you guys remember the last time we built the table, we used it from scrap materials I actually found at work. Now a lot of people say, where can I find these materials from? Just go to any building site in like an industrial area around your property, around your property, around your area. Uh, a lot of people will have scrap stuff like this. So this is the old table. It's a bit rough. I wasn't completely satisfied and happy with it when I uh, built it. Um, I painted the one back side white and one side black. Um, and we've got the magnet on it as well. So we're taking it off. Um, and this is the new part we'll be using. Now this is just the top of a shipping crate that we had lying around at work. This came in from uh, Indonesia, I think. Uh, it's a heat treated pallet. Uh, we've had taken this off, be using this for here. This is a little bit nicer, it's a little bit thicker, uh, and a little bit more durable material than what that's, this is, this was. Uh, so that's what we'll be using. As you can see, it's a decent size uh, compared to what the old table is. So we'll be cutting it down. Uh, one table will be there. Your table will be there, um, and we might have some leftover scrap material if someone else wants it as well. So we'll be measuring this up. I'll go full measurements um, if you guys want to make yourself one as well. So we'll be cutting this um, out, and then we'll be doing something custom as well. So we'll do our measurements first, cut this down the size, and we'll get on to the custom work that we need to do to make this special one-off table. Alright, so working with second-hand material is, can always be a little bit of a pain in the ass, a little bit more time-consuming. Just because it's not perfect, it's a little bit more time-consuming. The carts aren't right, uh, the size isn't spot-on. Uh, so as you guys saw, it's got these like, little bits of timbers on the edges of them. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass. They are uh, nailed in um, all the way along. So I'll try to pry them off, but it's just wrecking this timber. So what we're going to do is that we've flipped it over. We're just going to cut down those lines. Now the tailgate, the original tailgate table, is almost the exact same size as that. So all I'm going to do is flip it over, cut down the leading edge of that timber there. Uh, then we've got almost the right size to work with, and then we can just cut it down as we please. So all we're using is a cheap circle saw from Aldi. Now Aldi sells some amazing stuff. I think this was like $23. So it doesn't cost the earth, it's not majorly expensive so $23 so let's cut down that leading edge um, and then we can cut across and produce pretty much got our size for our tailgate table uh, then I'll give you guys the size and dimensions of what we use if you guys want to make your own so let's cut down that leading edge get our size uh, and then we should be good to go Alright, so it actually turns out that the blade on the jigsaw is maybe just a little bit bent. So when, if you've ever used a jigsaw before, there's like a little markers on the edge. So you follow that center marker, which where the blade is supposed to be. But instead it was kind of like that. So I was following that line, but it was like that. So, what does that mean? The cut is perfectly dead straight if you wanted to go off to the side. So luckily for you guys, this isn't your table, this is gonna be my table. Mine fix it up, make the cuts a little bit straighter. Um, as you guys can see, 
I don't know as you guys can see down there. It's um now don't don't judge me, yes or no. As I said at the start of the video, I'm not a professional carpenter by any means, but the table I'll be giving away will look a lot nicer than this. So I'm gonna fix this up, make the edges a little bit straighter. Um, I'll do this that off camera. We'll go through and arrest all the edges, get it tidied up, and we can start on the custom work that we'll be doing. Hopefully it's going to turn out a little bit nicer than those stupid cuts. So what I'll do, I'll go get a new blade, replace that so it's not bent, so we can get some straighter cuts maybe. Alright, so you guys are thinking, what the hell is so special about this tailgate table compared to the last one I built? Well, we're in building uh, a beer holder and a wine glass holder into the table. Now if you guys don't drink and you guys are the winner of the table I'll be making for you guys, Please let me know, um, I can either make a plain one or I can make something different depending on what you guys want. But me, I like a nice cold and crispy Krona so we'll be doing a holder inside the table for a Krona bottle. And also my wife really likes wine so we'll be doing a wine holder inside the bottle as well. If you guys prefer two wine holders please let me know, if you prefer two beer holders please let me know as well. So you're also thinking, how you going to support a beer? So if you actually have a look at the flute of the Krona bottle, it's actually smaller. The flute's actually thinner there, then goes wider there, then thinner at the top. So what we're going to do is cut two holes, we're going to make them round um, into the side of the table there. So when you actually slot the beer bottle in, that thicker part will uh, be able to support itself and rest inside the table. That way it's not taking up usable space on the table itself, and also the same for the wine glass as well. So we'll make two measurements um, with the base of the flute of the beer bottle, and then for the base of the wine glass, it kind of depends. Uh, now, my wife would probably kill me because of this. I don't know if it's a bigger glass for flat wine and a smaller glass like a wine flute for um, bubbly wine. I have no idea. But we'll be making it to the spec of this wine glass. Now, you don't want the hole to be too big or too small. You want that glass to be nice to cradle in there so it's not going to move around. Obviously, you're not going to be driving and drinking, I hope not. So I actually found this, this is just like a little um, LED light that we put in the gardens for lighting. So all we're going to do is trace around that and that will give us our hole that we'll be able to cut to support that wine glass. And then we'll be sanding and making a nice smooth edge for that wine glass to nicely sit in. And this is going to be the, like, probably the longest and hardest part. Now I don't know if anybody's ever done this with a drop down uh, table for a Jeep before. So this might be a first. But I think uh, with the wine glass we might get it sitting there. You don't want it too far, you don't want them too close together and you don't want them too far apart. You just want enough usable space that you've got all this room cleared for your food, snacks, whatever it might be. Um, and with the beer bottle I think about there as well. So what we'll do, we'll make some measurements, uh, we'll trace around that little LED light, we'll make the measurements of the beer bottle. So let me know if you guys drink or not, if you guys are the one of the tailgate table. Um, and that, don't forget at the end of the video, you guys will have to make a certain comment to be in the draw to be able to win this tailgate table as well. So keep a lookout for that. Uh, let's make some measurements, uh, get the drilling, get the cutting. Uh, let's see how this thing's going to turn out. Alright, so we just finished cutting the holes for the wine glass and beer bottle. I might have stuffed up just a little bit. I think I cut the entrance for the wine glass maybe a little bit too big. It probably doesn't matter too much. It just means that if you do bump it, it could fall out. Or fall over like that has. It's not too bad. It could have just been a little bit smaller. The wine glass will still slide in there quite nicely like that. It's got a nice little seat for it. So now we just need to go along, arrest those edges, make it so it's like a nice little seat for that wine glass to sit into. Um, and the beer bottle requires a little bit more work. Uh, it still needs a little bit more to be able to slide into that gap there, which isn't too bad. You, bad, you just have to make sure you don't stand it back too much, or that that actual neck of the beer bottle will slide through there. But at the moment, we've got the wine glass sitting quite nice. So let's go ahead, uh, start sanding down the edge for the beer bottle, and start tightening up the edges for the wine glass as well. Alright, so we're just fin finishing sanding down the edges, make a nice little seat for that wine glass to sit in. Now the one with the beer was a little bit more tedious, um, I made it a bit thinner um, as it goes down just so it, the neck of the bottle, uh, as you push it in further, uh, won't fall out. Uh, so far it's looking 
pretty good just a little bit tedious um, on that it's, it's quite hard to get that right size but it's looking pretty good so if you guys want to be in the draw to win one of these tables that I'll be building for one of you guys all you need to comment below is Jeep is awesome that's it that's all you need to comment below um, subscribe to the channel and one of these could be yours if you want it uh, so it's time to chuck it on the Jeep um, quite happy with the way it's turning out at the moment so let's chuck it on the Jeep um, and see how good it sits with all the wine and wine all the wine with the wine and beer in it as well All right, and we're done. We're completely done. So we used the same hardware that was already there when we first installed the table. If you guys want to check an installation video, just go back and watch that one. We've got one for the TJ and the JK if you guys want to check that one out as well. But today we just read the table with the drink holders. And I think it turned up so well. So we've got one for the beer, uh, quite stable in there. And we've got one for a wine glass as well. So it's really simple. All it is is a little cut there and somewhere this is a wine glass. And it's really good because you've got the rest of the table for uh, free space, all your cooking, little snacks, little treats that you take on the trails with you and that sort of stuff. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below and to get in the draw to be able to win one of these tables that I'll make especially for one of you guys, just comment below, did I say before? I think Jeep is awesome. Comment below, Jeep is awesome to go in the draw to win one of these. Also hit the subscribe um, if you haven't already to be in the draw as well. And I'll be picking one of you guys for the winner in the next um, week or so. I'll let you guys know who the winner was um, in one of the future videos. And also drop a comment in this video as well who the winner is. Uh, so you guys can also drop a comment in this one uh, in the next couple of weeks. Also, I'll, I'll also comment in this video who the winner is in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'll get in contact with you guys um, and get a table sent out to you guys, especially made for you. Whether you guys want two beer holders or two wine holders or you don't drink alcohol, that's fine as well. Um, I can just make a flat table for you. No matter what you guys want, just let me know. Uh, so comment below, Jeep is awesome, hit the subscribe button um, and get in the draw to win one of these tables. So let me know what you guys think about this custom table in the comments below, whether it's a really good idea or it's a waste of space. Please let me know. Um, and as always, please let me know uh, in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that like button, hit that, that subscribe button, comment, Jeep is awesome below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Sure.